Hey everyone, in today's video I am sharing a really quick 5 minute makeup look to help cover up sensitive red skin. Now every once in a while I will either react to a product or wake up with kind of a bit more pinky red blotchy skin. It doesn't always happen but when it does I do like covering it up with some light makeup. I'm not a fan of high coverage makeup so I tend to keep it really light and just kind of enhance my skin and decrease any of the redness. So I actually just start off by prepping my skin with the RMS base and then I'm using my Westman Atelier Vital Skin Foundation Stick in the shade Atelier 2. And I just rub this directly on my skin because I find it gives the best coverage. And just to kind of help blend it in, I use my Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator Mist and this is actually really calming for sensitive, irritated, inflamed red skin because it's got a lot of nice botanicals in it to help soothe irritated skin. So I definitely recommend this if you have and struggle with sensitive, inflamed red skin. Now I'm just blending that out with a brush and I kind of just go back between my brush and my hands just to melt the product into my skin. And I will eventually just go back in to cover up some of those areas that the redness is still peeking through. Now you could go in with a green color corrector. I'm not a huge fan of color correctors myself. I find them a little bit of a hassle to work with. So you could do that if you're comfortable, but I just kind of layer on some of my foundation and my concealer until I get a desired coverage. Now with this Cure Waste Concealer, I use my finger to blend it initially because it is a bit more of a moussier consistency and works better with the warmth of your skin. And then I just go with my foundation on a few more red spots that happen to be a little bit more apparent on my cheeks. I tend to struggle with my redness on my cheeks. So I'm not actually sure if this is rosacea or not or just super sensitive skin that is easily irritated by products but yeah if you um, struggle with redness or kind of like a mild rosacea this is actually a great routine to still let your skin breathe to warm up my face i'm using the westman atelier face trace contour stick now this is a new discovery slash purchase for me I love this product so much. It blends in like a dream. It gives a nice contour. It adds a bit of warmth. It honestly looks so beautiful on the skin. If you want to see a full review, I did do a full brand review of the Westman Atelier products. So that is featured in that video, but it is an A plus for me. It blends in with a brush or your fingers. So love the way that this looks on my skin. Instead of using a blush, I'm actually using the Westman Atelier. This is the Super Loaded Highlighter in Pot de Peche. And I'm just using a nice big brush just to kind of add that to the apples of my cheek and just kind of on top of where I place that contour. And it doesn't enhance too much of the redness. It just adds a nice healthy glow. Just to do a quick brow, I'm using my Ilia Beauty Essential Brow Gel in the shade Blonde. This stuff is super quick and easy and perfect for that five minute face. And then highlighter, my everyday highlighter is the Lila B Glisten and Glow in Be Enchanting. This stuff just looks super natural. Well, as natural as a highlight can get. It really just makes your skin look like it's healthy, juicy, plump, like it's just glowing from within. It gives the most beautiful radiance and I cannot recommend it enough. For my eyes, I'm using the Westman Atelier iPod in the shade Tabac and this is a really quick and easy eye look. You just kind of do a one and done eyeshadow. Now these are quite pricey so any kind of good old warm brown or brown will do. For mascara, I'm using the Kosas Mascara. Now, this was my first time using it, and I am doing this voiceover after this video was recorded, and I don't recommend it. It smudges a lot under the eyes and on the eyelids, so I would pass. But um, next, I'm finishing off with the Kosas Lipstick in Stardust. I love this kind of 
rosy mauve tone it's kind of like your lips but better especially for that like bitten look and I just pat that in with my finger just to kind of soften up the color and there you go you guys that is my quick and easy five minute makeup look hope you enjoyed it thanks so much for watching bye